it's kind of hard for, I mean, I don't even know where to start with you guys. Such an amazing history. I've been a fan for forever. Most of us had uh, started trying to tune our guitars back in the back in the 70s somewhere. Uh, I'm still trying to tune mine. Yeah, I uh, know. <laughs> but, you know, I was, me and my buds, we were always trying to chase acts that mattered, could really play and sing. You guys, Allman Brothers, acts like that, that, we felt like, hell yeah, these guys are making a difference. This shit's good, and I wish I could do it. And honestly, I was approached about singing one of the tracks on this album, and Blackwater and a couple of songs, I thought maybe I could uh, struggle through that. But, I mean, yeah. No, there wasn't. Honestly, I, I just started listening to those songs, and I'm like, I just, you know, I'm intimidated. And wow. you guys... To me, these great. are like, of all the tribute records, though, this, to me, seemed like the hardest one to cover. Um, you guys we kind of don't look at it as a tribute. We look at it as more of like a collaborative thing because, you know, we're working with the folks. I guess still it's, there's, it would be the same thing for me and the Allman Brothers. You know, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to sing with Greg. And I know him and we have fun talking oh. and whatever. But, you know, or... Or Willie, honestly, uh -huh. <laughs> you know, oh, and funny. I don't know. I mean, you guys have. You'd be too stony. Yeah, I know. Well, that's there's always that. The whole fetal position thing makes it hard to record. Yeah. You know? well, do, you... do you do you guys have? I mean, when you grew up, were there acts like that that it's, um, you admire them so much that you would feel awkward? I guess for even. I trying. think everybody has. Sure. That kind of thing, you know, some, yeah. some bands or maybe several bands, singers, whatever. If they if they were, if they got to get in that position in the first place, because that's not very likely where I came from, <laughs> <coughs> that you would feel dumbfounded. Like who? Like, like hmm? who? Uh, well, I kind of grew grew up in the, the blues and and uh, R and B end of things, but uh, the only people that ever came through where I played was uh, Jimmy Reed. And I went and saw him, and uh, I didn't talk to him at all. And uh, James Brown came through Fresno, and I went and saw that, and that was pretty amazing. That was yeah. life altering, as a matter of fact. I was just a freshman in high school, and I was. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so could you even collaborate with James Brown? You know, great no, example. I, yeah, I wasn't knowing what. Is, I mean, I talked to him many years down the road. Uh, but. Uh, <laughs> well, tell me, no. keep up with him on the dancing thing. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see that James Brown movie? Have you seen? I it? did. I haven't seen the movie. It is a great <clears throat> film. It's like I didn't really. My wife wanted to go see it. Uh -huh. My wife and my son, and I wasn't really. I I wanted to see something. Right, some, right. You know, shoot 'em up movie, and uh, she's no. Nah, we want to go see this. Come on, Dad. And I go okay. I'll go see it. It was so great. It was such a good movie. I can't wait to see it. So I did just kind of recently saw like that. Famous 17 minutes he did before the Rolling Stones on one of those oh, review the, the shows. Tammy show or yeah, yeah. The, the, yeah, what was that? The, the Tammy. The Tammy, Tammy show. Probably, and they show yeah. that that sequence, you know, of what went on around <coughs> that, that uh, yeah, film and stuff. stuff that. Really Growing great. up in Louisiana, you know, I, I bailed off a Top 40 radio pretty early, you know. <laughs> and I mean, R&B and soul music was all we had that was worth listening to down there. Yeah, I mean, well, I, you were in a great spot, man. Are you kidding? It was You're a pretty good spot. Very good. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I yeah, I remember I got meet the Beatles, and then my sister and and I thought it was so cool. And obviously, the Beatles are the Beatles, but that's a group I would be daunted. Any, any of those yeah. guys to work with those? Yeah, you're talking about people. That you know, <laughs> whoa, I don't know if yeah. I could. Bust <laughs> <laughs> that's certainly qualified. No but, kidding. But. And then my sister gave me uh, Otis Redding live in Europe. And my eyes just roll back in my head. Yeah. Like, Who is this guy? Right. You know, it's just all that energy and all yeah. that, mm -hmm. whatever. So do 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 people ask you all the time, like, what what a doobie is and stuff like that? I mean, <laughs> hopefully not. I do all the time. <laughs> we get the which doobie you be a lot. Yes. Oh time. yeah. Old, old jokes like that. Mm -hmm. What what acts um, doing this? And I guess, how'd you first get approached to to do this collaboration, and and what were your original thoughts about doing this in Nashville? David Huff, who ended up producing the project, 
was really the first guy that kind of came around. The I the idea has been sort of been floating around about doing something, you know, and uh, but but David was the guy that brought it to us in a more concrete fashion and really was the sort of the, the conduit to the to Gary Overton and people at the record company mm -hmm. and, and to really pulled a lot of things together to make this happen. And I, I don't know, I thought it was a pretty awesome idea, but I think we were all kind of going, I was sure scared. there's people that will want to do this? <laughs> some good artists that really... Well, they didn't have everybody locked down by any means at that point. Anyway, it was more in the idea stage. But uh -huh. they wanted to see if we wanted to do it. And, and they mentioned some names. I said, well, that would be awesome if you can do that. <laughs> I think we were, just like you were saying, a little intimidated ourselves by the fact that, I mean, speaking mm -hmm. for myself, that these other artists might be involved, you know, because there were some people that were, you know, Mega we heard this stars in, in my Brooks eyes. Brooks you know. might get involved. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like, nah, he's scared. <laughs> <laughs> but it works. It works the other way too, you know. For us, we're, you know, we'll, gosh, you know, True. be working with these people. They really want to do this with us, you know. It's, well, it's that's really interesting happening. to hear. Those are such timeless records. So, how'd you approach like the first one? What was the first thing you did? Uh, first thing we did, you mean actually working on the project itself? Uh -huh. Maybe on, going on this one first track first we cut. Yeah. China yeah. Grove, maybe? I think it was China Grove. I'm not really Chris, sure. That was Chris Young. I think it was. was well, well Chris Young was the first one that I heard. That I heard. We were all yeah. starstruck over there doing tracking with unbelievable Nashville cats. Yeah. You know, just killer players. But when Chris got up and sang that song, I just went, wow, <coughs> that really works. He's a good that singer. Really he is works. a real good singer. Yeah. Well, that's so. Yeah, he pretty much nailed that. So what kind of pickers did, did integrated with you guys? Wow. Uh, Let's see. You want all the names? Because I'm going to come up with all of them. <laughs> no, but just you know, somebody that... Dan Dugmore's one. That yeah. Was, that was pretty Jerry cool. Jerry McPherson. I've always liked him. And I, you guys have probably way back with in the Dugmore 70s. before, huh? Yeah. I, I, yeah. I'd met him and worked with him as far as... But not, not recording with him, because, you know, we kind of play the same instruments. <laughs> so, uh, but, yeah, but, you know, he was one that guy that I've always, always loved his playing so to me it was cool that he was part of this he plays know. steel like nobody else mm -hmm. and I think we've used him on or and I've used him on just about every record I've ever made at some point you know it's just besides he's such a great soul he is he's well, a very very laid back you mellow, know, just kind of fits right in no matter where man. I, I, I found myself we were talking about stuff and I said you know the because he's famous for the, the steel work on Blue Bayou but for the solo and I and, and I, I said, you know, it's not just the solo. I said, the whole, the, what you played, the whole track is really great. He said, he said I was the first guy that ever actually <coughs> said that to him. <laughs> he goes, compliments on the solo, but what about the other stuff? Well, he played so cool through that whole song, I thought. Anyway, it was, it was neat to get to talk to him about things like that. Yeah. And hear what, his, what he came up with on our stuff, on the Doobie song. All of that, man. Everybody that was in there. I mean, yeah. there's some really the other players too. Triple A uh, players in there. I got uh, Jerry say, McPherson. And, yeah. yeah, yeah, just a lot of great players. You know, well, that's fun. So after Chris, who else uh, sang on something that comes to mind? Um, I watched uh, Blake do his vocal on "Listen to Music," and yeah. it was uh, down in L.A. So I flew down to watch him do that. And that's the only guy I really got to do or watch do the final vocal, and he killed it. Modern technology. I thought all the people did a great job, you know. And then Zach Brown Band did Black Water. Yeah. And I think they did that cool. in their in uh, Georgia. Yeah, they took it back to. They but that's what I mean. Everybody was all over. But then we got to. We went and we sat in with them. them we sat in park. with them. Oh, did you? Park. I, I, that was oh, cool. we stood in. <laughs> so we've been we've done some of this stuff live with some of these people. You know, that was studio that was stuff. Quite an event. You know, Brad Paisley got out with us one night on. Uh, yep. He did for the uh, and, you know, the radio I mean, thing they Sarah have every Evans. year for Sunday. So we've we've actually worked with some of these people live uh, doing some of this stuff too. Sarah so. Evans was there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's it's really neat. You guys have had such a ebb and flow <coughs> over the years, and we did a festival. I think last year uh, we're on the same bills, and I hung around and went and heard y'all again. And I think I've heard you like seems like every couple of years for the last. 25 years probably that's and right we did do a show with you guys i remember because we we watched a little bit we did a brooks too. and dunn yeah. thing but i did a, a as a solo artist i think last year we uh, on a festival right? somewhere i don't remember where it was maybe up in wisconsin or something is 
That's I mean, I fair. lose track. Anything I know you guys do, too. Yeah. If you can remember, my hat's off to you. <laughs> well, I just remembered you guys were there. I obviously don't remember where it was. <laughs> How many shows a year are you guys doing now? About 90, roughly. Yeah. 85, 90. Wow. And what the heck? Just We don't know any better. It is. Let's, <laughs> let's just keep banging on it till we can. Huh? Yeah. yeah. But Michael McDonald did something on this record, right? Yeah. He has three songs on it. And if you guys... Have you guys worked together in a long time? I'm, or is hmm. that just something that we do a few shows now and then? Yeah, yeah. yeah. periodically. We he sure. lives over there and he has a house over in Maui, and Pat lives in Maui, and they see each other. We do stuff together quite a bit. I, I see Mike a lot. <clears throat> cool. But we were doing corporates with him for a while there, ah. and then that I don't know what happened. We haven't recently, but we see him <laughs> every once in a while. Yeah. We run over old times. And when it works, it works. And he's still one of our buddies. You know, he has such a successful solo career, and he gets to keep all the money. He likes that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the same venue as us one night, right the night before we played, and Pat and I went and barged on his show, sat in with him. Just okay. things like that. So. Fun. Yeah. Oh, that's good to hear. It's he's neat, great. Man. Michael's a great, a good guy and such a talent. So it was, it was really good to be working with him. Well, so are you guys in the evolution of, like I say, ebb and flow. It's not like it. It seems to. It's been through a lot of transitions, and and uh, and it's still awesome. And uh, and congratulations. Thanks for coming to Nashville and including us. And <laughs> and, and you. Such you have to thank us, man. We were happy to do it. Are you kidding? That's no, great. Man, it's neat, and I know people are really gonna love it. Everybody loves the songs. It's fun hearing it hearing a new twist on it. You know, the coolest thing about it, it, it really gave us a whole new perspective. We really didn't know that anybody was paying any attention to this band in Nashville. We had no idea. Um, <laughs> we just go out, get on the bus, and play and go home. That's pretty much it. And, uh, and then to find out that there's actually a lot of people really like the band. We were kind of, wow, I had no idea, you know? And it, it, was, it was fun getting to know them. It was fun getting to work with them. And... Uh, it's all the way around. It was a really great experience. Well, I think you guys, and you know, you're one of those bands that was not. You weren't categorized. You know, you weren't a glam rock. You weren't a, you know, big hair band. Even though we all had hair, you know, and <laughs> I was a big hair band. <laughs> 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 but you know, it was. You guys were a, were. A, cool organic band and I you know I mentioned Almond Brothers there was just a you know three or four of you bands like you guys that wrote your own music defined your own style and you you know it wasn't like somebody so uh, yes. you know hats off to you and and uh, congrats on a great career and inspiring a whole lot of us thank you so much thank you so thanks much. a million thanks Appreciate for coming it. by Appreciate it. Have a absolutely good thanks for having us thanks for having us man.